Good morning, Pelham Road. Well, we're here at Holy Week. And we're going to try to do devotions this week, each one uh, tied to a particular event that we believe happened during Holy Week, right? Monday. They came to Jerusalem, and he entered the temple. Jesus did. And he began to drive out those who were selling and those who were buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And he would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. He was teaching and saying, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all the nations, but you have made it a den of robbers. And when the chief priest and the scribes heard it, they kept looking for a way to kill him. For they were afraid of him, because the whole crowd was spellbound by his teaching. This is a piece of artwork that represents that day. This is a pivotal day. After Sunday's triumphant entry, the religious leaders and the civic authorities were on high alert concerning Jesus. We speculate that what happens today, on Monday, escalates their fears to the point of action. The scene in the temple, the day that Jesus strolled in, was chaotic. No doubt the animals, like all animals, are making noise and they're not silent. And the aroma of the temple area is that of a barnyard. Coins changing hands or even hitting the pavement are making a racket. And you add to all of that human emotions and human voices, negotiating prices, people yelling. I mean, it was just a chaotic day. And while we think this is the day that the religious leaders intensify their actions to silence Jesus, it is also clear that something breaks in Jesus this day. For a man who had showed remarkable restraint not even defending himself when he was threatened earlier and was almost thrown off of a cliff. He now is really beyond rage. The people are being abused by powerful people. The temple is being abused by religious authorities. Religion has been weaponized and Jesus stands with those victimized by their religious leaders. Now, the disciples, they must have panicked a bit today. When Jesus decided that he was ready to go to the temple, they couldn't think that was going to end well. And their panic rose further as they watched what happened as he ran people out of the temple. And as he pushed people out for their greed and their oppression. And how they had ruined a very holy place. There must be an easier way. I'm sure that's what the disciples were thinking that you have to have an easier way to stage a revolution, to turn the world upside down. Surely, Jesus, there's a better way than this. But I imagine in Jesus' mind, the last three years had been the easier way. And the way of reason and love had not worked yet. So now he's going to try religious rebellion and see if that gets anybody's attention. Most of us want to find the easy way to follow Jesus. But if we choose to walk with Jesus, then we might find ourselves turning over tables in our world and in our life. We may find ourselves declaring that all of creation is God's house and we ought to stop treating it like a den of thieves. We might find ourselves declaring that all God's children should be treated with dignity. We might find ourselves proclaiming that the God in whom we take refuge calls us to provide refuge for those who have been cast out. Temple Monday is a reminder that walking with Jesus isn't always a stroll in the garden. Sometimes it is a dangerous, strenuous road. This Holy Week, as we are preparing ourselves for the depths and the heights of the journey with Jesus, from the table all the way to the garden, from the lash to the cross, from the tomb to the resurrection into life and light, let us join with those who sing, 
I want Jesus to walk with me all along this pilgrim journey. I want Jesus to walk with me. See you tomorrow.